Hello there. So today I wanted to talk to you about uh, business books and uh, about reading business books more specifically because I, as you know, uh, if you watch my other videos, maybe you know I read quite a bit. Uh, I think last year was around 190 something books that I read and I read them in all formats. I read physical books, ebooks, audiobooks, whatever it might be. And um, But I've noticed over time that the way I read business books is actually quite different from other books. You know, most of the time I'm reading a book, I want to sit back and enjoy it. I read it before going to sleep. I read it during the weekend if I have some free time or whatever it might be. And or an audiobook, I'll be listening to it, you know, in the car while I'm driving or something like that. But I've realized that with business books, I really don't do this. With business books, I um, over time, what I've started doing is, I mean, I treat it like business. And so I, uh, I actually approach it more like a business decision and uh, and trying to see how to use it. And so I, I kind of wanted to bring it up because I've noticed many times when I talk about business books with people, I, um, you know, I'll say something, they'll mention a book and I'll be like, oh yeah, have you read that book? They're like, yeah, I read it two, two years ago, something like that. I'll be like, oh, you know, did you find it good? Did you find it useful? And they're like, well, I haven't applied it yet because it doesn't apply to my business yet, but I'm sure that when I do, it'll be great. And right away when people say that, I know that, you know, that's, it was a waste. That reading that book, the time they took, the money they spent on it was a waste because they're never going to get to it. A business book, you have to, you have to apply it right away. I really believe that. And um, you can't just read it and say, oh, that's interesting information. One day I'll use that and then that's it. You know, think about it. if you learn anything else, like if you're learning a language, you're taking German classes and then two months later, after you finish the German class, I'll be like, how was your German class? How's your German? Be like, well, I'm not applying it yet because I don't need it yet. But I'm sure everything I learned there will be great once I start actually doing the lessons and, you know, practicing myself. You don't learn that way. When, you, when, you, when you're learning a language, you practice it right away because that's the way you do it. That's the way it is when you learn anything. And it should be the same with business books because these are being applied to your business. And so you should be applying them right away as you read them. Even before you finish it, you should be applying it basically chapter by chapter, whatever it might be. And most business books, I think, are... I mean, like they're very actionable in that sense and you can use them. Business books look by the way can be more abstract or they can be down to the nitty gritty and you find variation on all of these um, but I think all of them, all the good ones, they have takeaways and actionable points that you can take. So that's what I do when I read a business book it's during business hours. I actually set time aside like from this time to that time or whatever, I'm going to sit there at my office, at my desk or at a coffee shop, whatever, fine, but I'll sit there during my work hours and, you know, not be checking email, but, but dedicating this time to this. This is time I'm investing in my business. It's work time and uh, it's not leisure. And so I, I treat it as such. So anyway, I kind of just wanted to talk about this a bit. I confess the thing, what I'm pondering now is actually I'd like to create a course on how to read business books, which I know might seem like a dumb idea, but quite frankly, when I thought about creating how to be a successful freelance translator, I thought that was a dumb idea too. I thought it was too niche. I thought like no one's going to want to get a course on that. And now it's, it's my course that does best because then I did a, like I did other courses like on sales for freelancers, which I thought made a lot more sense, but my one for freelance translation does way better than, than those. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm not hundred percent decided yet, but I did want to discuss it a bit here. Um, and, uh, so yeah, just discuss a couple points. First of all, yeah, I do take time aside during the business day to do it um, uh, because it, I think it's very important to apply it right away. Anything that I read, I will start applying it. Uh, I'll see how it applies to my business specifically. The examples given in the book, I'm sure, will be all over the place, real estate, apps, you know, this, that, and the other. But I will see how it applies directly to my business. And, and that's what I'm taking notes on, you know, what I can do there and, uh, and how I can have it applied to my business. What else? When I pick a book, I really do quite a bit of research before picking a book because when you read books, all types of books, I mean, it's, it's zero sum. If I'm reading a book, I can't be reading another book at the same time. And so, uh, so I want to make sure that the book I'm picking is good. I also will be quick to get rid of a book with a business book. If I'm 50 pages in and I realize I'm either not going to get anything out of it or I, you know, for some reason or another, it doesn't work for me, then it's out. And this includes parts of books, by the way. Oh, in fact, wait, I think I have one of them. So here is one of my books, um, Principles by Ray Dalio. 
this is an excellent book, absolutely excellent book. I gave it five stars for the first half because the second half, and here I still have my bookmark there, second half is, sorry, third part, okay. For, so the first two parts, I gave it five stars. But the third part um, is, uh, is called Work Principles, and this part deals with working in office. It deals with working in office with employees. It deals with office culture and stuff like that. And this really doesn't apply to me. I'm, if I read it in my leisure time, I'm sure I'd find a lot of interesting points in there. But uh, it doesn't apply to me right now. Right now, I work with freelancers. And, um, you know, so a lot of things working with employees or stuff like that could apply. But, you know, I look through it. It, it deals with dealing with office culture, with how to deal with... Um, uh, you know, managing conflict within the office and uh, and stuff like that. You know, water cooler talk and whatever, what what have you. That doesn't apply to me. I'm I'm not going to read that as a business book. If I want to read it in my spare time, you know, before I'm falling asleep or something like that, then fine. But not like this. And um, so yeah, you know, I I take it seriously and I and I treat it like 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 a consulting service. You know, basically Ray Dalio is providing his consulting services to me or a class, let's say a lecture. And so I'm going to take it seriously. I take notes, see how it applies to my business, and then I apply it right away. I always have a plan to apply whatever I learn right away. And uh, it, this really depends on the book. Some of them you'll know within two weeks if it's working or not. Other ones it'll take six months or more. It really depends. Um, but that's fine. I can apply it. Well, I can set up a plan and to apply for, say, the next six months. And in the, me in the meantime, I can even read other business books. That's fine, you know, because they deal with other aspects or whatever it might be, but um, I can keep applying it in the background and see how it works and what do what does work, what doesn't work, and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so you know that's that's just some of the things that I do. Uh, I mean, what else? What else? Oh well, uh, also uh, um, in terms of picking which books, I look at the author as well. You know, if you have an author who's going to tell you how to sell stuff and they've never sold anything in their life, well. I'm, I might think twice about it, especially if they have a book that didn't, you know, if they have a book that sold well, that already shows that they know how to sell. But still, you kind of want to look at the nitty gritty of it and see if they actually have expertise in what they're saying. And you'd actually be surprised how often you find authors that don't have expertise. Uh, you, so the main issue you usually see is, is academics writing about business who've maybe never run a business themselves. And uh, and there can be issues there. I recently, I recently had that with... Um, Simon Sinek, uh, he's, he wrote quite a few books, and uh, he wrote a book called Start With Why. And, I mean, I don't disagree with what he wrote in the book, but quite frankly, I had to let it go before the end because it was, he kept repeating the same thing, and I found it very academic in the sense that he looked at a lot of examples, that say, that followed what he said, you know, start with why, and that were successful. But he didn't, he, he followed a lot, you know, there was a lot less of, say, companies that, started with why but were failures or other companies that were maybe successes and maybe didn't start with why but the way he categorizes start with why it could kind of apply to anyway it w it was a bit too much for me and you know then and I was looking at the background of Simon Sinek and he never I mean he has a company now cuz he has this whole thing where he does TED talks and he does things but he's an academic I'm I'm not saying don't read that book read it but take those things with a grain of salt and at the end of the day yeah I didn't even finish it myself so there are certain things that I believe are important when reading a book and when not and also audiobooks I think it's a lot harder uh, I used to be completely against audiobooks for for business purposes, you know, for business books. But now I actually listen to the audiobook, but there are a lot of caveats, let's say, uh, that you have to pay attention to, um, which I won't get into now, actually. It doesn't matter. Um, but uh, I don't know. And there are interesting things you can do with books. Like many times when I was interested in sales, I actually did research and found the best three sales books I could find and read them all in a row. I think it's good to cluster books sometimes because then you can find points in common, th common threads and uh, you realize what the commonalities are and also what the differences are. And that can be very interesting when looking at different books that deal with the same thing. And um, uh, what else? Anyway, there, there are a couple of other issues. I, I wanted to do this video just to kind of give you an idea um, as, to, uh, you know, as to what I do when I read business books um, and, uh, and how I go about it. And that's pretty much it. I treat it as a business decision. I read it during business hours and try to apply it right away. I try to relate each chapter, uh, everything that the book says in each chapter, obviously, to my personal situation, to my personal business and how it's going, and uh, try to see how it can apply there. 
I try to, I also I try to keep in mind with books, there is no definitive list. Like there is no list of things that people can give you, whether in a book or course or anything, that will guarantee success. And this might seem obvious if I say it like this, but actually all throughout school, and if you worked in the corporate world, that's how it was, right? The teacher told you you need to learn chapters one through eight. If you learn chapters one through eight, and then you take the test and you answer the questions based on chapters one through eight, you get an eight. Likewise, when you go into a corporate job, if your boss tells you you need to do this, this, and that, and you do this, this, and that, at the end of the year, you get a promotion. You know, you do everything that's expected of you, then you attain success. When you're a freelancer, when you're an entrepreneur, when you're doing your own thing, that's not the case. You could do everything right, quote unquote, and still not succeed. You could follow all the steps Mark Zuckerberg took and not create the next Facebook. I mean, you won't create the next Facebook because Facebook already exists. But I mean, you know, you could follow all the steps out of some, even a very good book like this and, uh, and still not attain success. Why is this? And does this mean that you shouldn't be reading any books? Well, no, not at all. I think you can find invaluable information in books and you should learn to apply it to your own situation. Um, but on the other hand, realize that it's very different from just following steps that will guarantee success and you don't need to like use your head at all. You need to use your head. You need to have your own judgment and know when to apply what. And, um, and along those lines, I have various things that I try to do. Like I try to fail quickly. Like if something isn't going to work, I want to find out right away. And so I try to apply very quickly and, uh, and whatnot. I feel like I'm really going overboard with time here, but I kind of just wanted to get some ideas jotted down. And I like to hear from you. Let me get some coffee. So, Basically, from you, I'd like to hear if you have any ways that you read business books and what you do when you read business books. Like, do you, I don't know, is there anything special that you do? Uh, you know, how do you take notes? Do you take notes in the book? Do you take them aside from the book? I always take notes in the book all the time, by the way. Um, and, uh, or, and also, actually, I'd love to hear any good business books that you, uh, that you have. In fact, I might do another video where I talk about some of my favorite business books because there are definitely some out there that I gave five stars to on good, you know, that I, that I really liked and really found useful. But uh, yeah, if you could share any business books that you liked, actually, I'd really appreciate that because I like to look into them as well if I haven't read them yet. And uh, so yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it about business books, about uh, how to read business books and stuff like that. Just a couple of my thoughts. I have other ones that I've been jotting down um, just in case I actually decide to go ahead with this course. But, uh, but yeah, uh, please let me know what you think and I'd love to hear your thoughts on reading business books, on your favorite business books and stuff like that because I'd find it interesting. Anyway, that's pretty much it for now. I'll talk to you in the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye. Sabedum.